Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.83. A beam AB hinged at A and supported at B by a vertical bar BC is subjected to the action of a force P applied as shown in figure. Assuming ideal hinges at A, B and C, Find the force S produced in the bar BC. Neglect the weight of the beam. That means a beam AB is supported like this. At A, there is a hinged support. At B, it is supported by a vertical bar BC. A force P is acting in this direction which makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical. Our interest is to find the force developed inside the vertical bar BC. For that, we will draw the free body diagram of the beam AB. The various forces acts on the beam AB are the applied force P which makes an angle 45 degrees. There is a tensile force. Initially, we will assume that it is a tensile force and it is away from point B. Let S is the magnitude of the tensile force. And A, A is a hinged support. Hinged support will give two reactions. Let both the, the reactions are acts in this direction. So this is the beam AB and P is the applied force already given which makes an angle 45 degrees to the vertical. Now, S is the force developed inside the vertical bar BC. We will assume that initially it is tensile, so I have given in the downward direction. And at A is the hinged support, so hinged support will give two reactions, horizontal reaction and the vertical reaction. At RAH and RAV are the magnitude of those two reactions. Now here the inclined force P, I can resolve into two components, one is the vertical component and the horizontal component that means along the bar AB. Now, by resolving, we can say this vertical component is P cos 45 and the horizontal component is P sin 45. Our interest is to find only the S force. Hence, I can directly take the moments about the point A. Now, to take the moments about point A, RAH and RAV and also P sin 45, all these three forces are par passing through the point A. Hence, these forces will not introduce any moment. P cos 45 and yes, only these two forces will introduce the moments. I required the distances clearly. You can see the P cos 45 is at a distance of L by 2 from the point of moment and S is at a distance of L from the moment point of moment that is A. So, P cos 45 will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction and S will also moment create a moment in the same direction. So if you take the moments about point A, now I can say P cos 45 into the perpendicular distance L by 2 plus S into the perpendicular distance is L because the total distance I can clearly see it is L. Now after simplification I will get S is equal to minus P by 2 root 2. Why I am getting this minus? The reason for the minus is Initially, we assumed that the force developed along the bar is tensile force, but actual force developed is compressive. That's why I am getting negative. Hence, the final answer S is equal to 0.3535P and this is in compressive in nature is the answer for the given problem.